I assure you, fellas, I didn't um, refund <laughs> Black Myth Wukong over skill issues. Now, here's the thing, man. I went into that game, you know, at about a 30% hype rate, like like actually wanting to play and, and you know, experience that game. And when I bought it, I was like, all right, you know what, man? I did, I did the freaking, I did the, you know, the, the benchmark thing. Um, that, that video got like 10,000 views. So I was like, all right, maybe there's something here. Maybe, maybe, maybe there's something here. Let's go ahead and purchase the game. Let's try it out. Let's see. And, you know, I made videos before that talking about how, you know, I'd already bought in, you know, uh, Sword and Fairy 7, I'd bought in Wanyang Sword 7, I've bought in, you know, like Bloody Spell, other games made by Chinese developers. And, you know, the, the same thing that happened with those three games is I've got, I got far enough into them and they, they just kind of fall flat. They don't, they don't keep my interest. And, you know, so, so a game with like Black Myth Wukong, I went into the game thinking, all right, this one here has got, you know, better development cycle. This one here is using Unreal Engine 5. This one here is using all the latest tech and all of that stuff. And I was like, okay, let's, let's try this one. Let's, let's give it, you know, one more chance, you know, for, for the whole, you know, Chinese, Chinese developers and stuff to see if I can actually get into one of their games. Now, I'm not familiar with the whole story of the Monkey King or like Wukong or any of that. Like, I've never even heard it. This is the literal first time I've ever even heard of it in my whole life. And so I was willing to, to give it a try and get in there and see what this game's all about and, and have fun with this. But here's the thing, guys. There's so many other games coming out. And there's already things that, I'm, that I, that I want to play right now and that I'm doing right now. The Black Myth Wukong for me, like the game not not being like optimized, you know, I I, I should have known the moment that it came out with like Nvidia branding that there was gonna be some sort of like it it just what it just wasn't gonna play good on the AMD card and and I and I just I kind of I kind of I kind of knew that, but but I was willing to still give it a try. And the fact that I get in there and it crashes on me, I've had multiple people in the comment section telling me that the game keeps crashing on them. Some people are saying it's fine, but a lot of people are telling me like, look, this is crashing on me. There's this problem. There's this problem. I just figured, you know what, man? I'm just gonna refund this game. There's plenty of other people already out there playing it, already buying it already making tons and tons of content on it. And that's fine, dude. I'm, I'm grateful that people are enjoying this game. They're having fun with it. I'm not, I'm not upset at anybody, but to like, you know, but to think that it's like some skill issue. No, man, it's not a skill issue. If the game is unbalanced, like the game is unbalanced. It doesn't feel right to me. To me, it's like you're, you're either making a dark souls game and you're going to put every, every, every ounce of making sure that game feels good and feels consistent because like, trust me, I've played so many knockoff Dark Souls games over the last few years that it's kind of ruined that genre for me because they just don't feel as good as something, as good as the, uh, as good as the Souls games. And, and like, it starts to wear on you for after a while. Like I just, I get tired of it. I don't feel like my skills are increasing or getting better with that. I feel like I'm just, you know, getting into getting into these games. They're they're lacking story and lacking all of that stuff. I've been working on Lords of the Fallen since since that one came out. Like I just got on there the other day. I finally got past the uh, uh, what was that thing called? That big boss that you fall on the ground. Um, Gosh, I finally just beat him. I finally just beat him. It only took me like three tries on this run. So I got through him. I'm working on the next area right now. See, so like I'm already working on something that I'm that I'm trying to get through. I get I get on there and I play it every once in a while. And you know, to, to sit and try to play a game like Black Myth Wukong, where I'm at in the game, I don't feel like two pathways should be blocked by bosses. 
in in uh, yeah, I, I I don't know. I don't know. Like you go one way, you go there's a that big giant baby, and that thing felt super cheap. I was like, dude, I I'm I'm done with this. I'm done with this. That dude freaking jumped on me twice. Twice. And and I was dead. And I'm like, are you are you kidding me, man? Like, what the freak? And everything up to him has basically been pretty easy and stuff. And then you go the other way, and then there's the freaking dog with the fire blades. And I'm just like, all right, whatever, dude. This game is so dumb. They, they say it's not a Souls game, and then, they, and then they, they tell you it's an ARPG. Honestly, guys, I feel like that game is designed to, like, get you to waste, like, as, as much time as possible, like, beating your head against the wall. I, 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 don't, I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, obviously, I could sit there and try to figure it out and, and, and get past it like everybody else is doing. But at, at the end of the day, like, is it really worth my money to play that game? I don't know when it when it when it comes uh, like when it gets cheaper when there's more patches when there's better you know fixes for it I will definitely go back to Black Myth Wukong but right now it launched for sixty bucks with it being an Nvidia branded game knowing that they probably did the very least or minimal work to try to make that playable with with AMD yeah I I don't know I I, I have a I have a real issue with games being branded for Nvidia especially as an AMD guy and if you're an AMD guy you probably understand that like we're treated like second class citizens on those Nvidia branded games. So I, I, you know, I have very, I have, I have, I have pretty decent trust issues, but I mean, when you look at something like Star Wars Outlaws, and this has always been the case, it's, it's uh, like Ubisoft games are usually very well optimized for, for AMD cards. Even if they have the Nvidia branding, they're still good and still playable on the AMD cards. So we'll find out. I, I, um, you know, I'm, I'm taking a shot in the dark for this game too. I mean, if my daughter didn't like really love it, that, that that's kind of like a, a thing that, that we do, you know, like my, if my daughter likes a game, like a star Wars game, I buy two copies of it. We both play through it and then we talk about it. And you know, that's, it, it's, it's something, you know, like my daughter is probably more interested in the game than I am, but after watching some more video on it and looking at like some of them beautiful maps, I'm definitely on board and I, and I rather would play that game. So I, I don't care as much about Black Myth Wukong. I never really have. Um, as you guys know, I, if you've been at the channel for a while, I've been kind of moving away from like the Souls type games and, and trying not to play that kind of stuff. And, you know, <coughs> uh, with Black Myth Wukong being like a, like what, 81 bosses, like a boss rush mode game. I just, I don't know if I'm feeling it. I don't have, I don't know if I have the time or the effort or the energy to actually invest in that game, to be completely honest with you. And I, 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 I shouldn't really even have to explain this. Like it, the game's not for me. Like right now, I, I don't feel like it, I wasn't even super interested in it. If the game wouldn't have got like 10,000 clicks, I probably would not have even, I probably would have never even bought it. Like it wasn't even a planned that I was going to buy it. So like the, the issues that, that come with that game, it's yeah, it's not even worth it for me. I would rather put that money into other games that, that are, that are coming out like pretty soon as well. My, I mean like right now, you know, obviously I do have the time until clearly, um, outlaws comes out because I got what until next Tuesday, I've, I've got a week to play around with that game, but I've, you know, Next Tuesday, I get I get it what three days early because I I pre-ordered the uh, the what was it the expensive one, so I'll get three days early. There's that week, and then the week after that, we're gonna have you know I mean gosh all of September we got God of War Ragnarok, we got Final Fantasy 16. Final Fantasy 16 is a significantly better filling game, significantly better. I played the demo on the PC and I'm like gosh dang man. And then I went right over to Black Myth. That's probably why it, it like it like pulled all the pulled all the like jankiness out of it because it feels so freaking smooth to play to play Final Fantasy 16. Like when you hit the dodge button and you get the precision dodge, I love that game. Like that feels incredible. Final Fantasy 16 16 to me is like Castlevania meets freaking uh, Devil May Cry. And it's like, oh my gosh, that game is freaking incredible. I just, I don't have the, I, I, I've never cared about Black Myth Wukong. I don't know anything about the, the history or anything about that game. 
So at the end of the day, guys, like I just don't, I, I'm not invested in Black Myth Wukong and pretty visuals. I mean, do I even get the full visual package on AMD? You know what I mean? It's, it's one of those things where it's like, you don't even get like the full package. So it's like, is it even worth it? Because I'm not playing that game at 11 frames a second. I'm sorry, man. Like, I, I don't care. Like, I'm not doing it. I'm not buying an NVIDIA GPU to play that game. So is, is, is the wow factor really there for, for, a, for an AMD buyer? Or, or is it just another, you know, fodder game that <laughs> we're, just, we're just spending our money on? just a benchmark it. Obviously I will be buying the game again because it will be a benchmark game from now forward. Like it, th that is something that I will end up putting in my, my, uh, my library for benchmarking, but I'm not paying $60 for a freaking benchmarking game. Um, right now, right now I've got other things that I want to do. I, I get that you guys think it's a skill issue or, or it's like it's not running good on it. I mean, I was getting like 120 something frames a second. Like, I mean, it wasn't a, a complete terrible experience, but it's it's something that like I just I'm not. I mean, you have to literally use frame generation just to get there. You have to use frame generation. So I I don't know, man. Maybe maybe this all changes once the next generation of GPUs comes out. Maybe Unreal Engine 5 is better optimized, but. I'll tell you what, there's been very few Unreal Engine 5 games that have like really, you know, really like been like, whoa, man, this is great. I mean, like Hellblade 2 was better optimized than this. But then again, I did play through that on a 4080 Super. So I don't know, man. I don't know. Uh, yeah, guys, I just, I'm not going to buy another 40 series card right now. I already bought enough this generation. So when the 50 series comes out, I'll definitely look at, into getting one of those. I might just end up buying a 5090 at the beginning of the generation so i don't have to worry about it throughout the rest of the generation and then just keep my amd card and my or whatever amd puts out so all right my friends we'll see you guys in the next one i gotta get ready for work so we'll see you guys later bye